Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Lindsay Ward. Tonight we're hearing from loved ones and co-workers of the man killed in Tuesday's shooting at Freight Car America. 56-year-old Daniel Brown died in the attack and three others were hurt. Police identified those victims as 31-year-old Keith Law, 32-year-old Gary Coran, and 31-year-old Travis Valderrama. Vicki Hawkins, Brown's girlfriend, says that she'll remember him as someone with a kind soul. How lost everybody's going to be without him. How it's going to break his family's heart. How it's breaking my granddaughter's heart. She's five years old. At last report, two of the victims are still in the hospital. Valderrama was released yesterday. WSLS 10's Rob Mann spoke with him and his mother tonight, and he joins us now live in the studio. So, Rob, what did they tell you? Well, I spoke with Valderrama over the phone tonight, and I just had him walk me through what exactly happened Tuesday. He proceeded to describe a scene of frantic confusion. Travis Valderrama says when he heard someone come through the door at Freight Car America Tuesday morning, he initially thought it was just an employee late for work. Then he heard the gunshots. Uh, two or three shots go off behind me. I get ready to turn around to look back, and he was standing two or three feet in front of me and let off one round. I held to my chest, and I set off running. Valderrama says he quickly realized he wasn't the only one who had been hit by gunfire. I saw one gentleman on the ground, and I saw another one falling to the ground. As he ran, he says he heard more shots behind him. He says it was a while before he actually stopped to see how badly he was wounded. I had a bullet hole through and through my blue suit that I was wearing for extra chrome welding, but I kept checking, kept checking, and I felt not a burn, but like a bee sting in my chest. And I kept looking and I saw that I had a black mark on my name tag and I had a red mark on my chest. Valderrama would later learn at the hospital he was one of the lucky ones. The bullet that tore through his suit only grazed his chest. Valderrama says his supervisor reassured him that he did the right thing by running, but he says learning that one of his co-workers was killed weighs on him. It saddened me because I did not go back to my co-workers. Uh, I, I know running was the right thing to do, but I don't want the guys to think that I left them behind. Well, the last update from the hospital this morning was that both of the other two surviving victims of the shooting are in fair condition and are expected to recover. We will continue to monitor the hospital reports on their condition and bring you all the latest on air and online at WSLS.com. In studio, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.